This is the Maths Grader Mini Mock Paper 2 Foundation. So it's a calculator paper. Question 1. Calculate the perimeter of the rectangle below. So in a rectangle, the two opposite sides are equal. So we've got two 10 centimetres, two lengths of 10 centimetres, and two 9 centimetres. And the perimeter is all of the lengths added together. So it's 10 plus 9 plus 10 plus 9. And you can do that in the calculator. And we should get 38 centimetres. Question 2. Round to one decimal place, 9.370. So one decimal place, so one after the decimal point. And so it's 9.3, but are we going to round it up to 9.4? We've got a 7 as the next digit. And if it's 5 or above, we round up. So we're going to say it's closer to 9.4 than 9.3. So we're going to round it to 9.4. Question 3. Erin has been given £560 for her birthday. She spends three apes of the money on a bag and 5% on going out with her friends. How much does she have left? So to work out three apes of 560, we just have to do three apes times 560. Whenever we add the word of, it means times. So in a calculator, just type in 3 eighths times 560, and that should give us 210 pounds. We also need to work out 5%. So 5% of 560. There's lots of different ways of working out 5%, but as we did above, we can just change of into a times and in the calculator if you can use the percentage button it's just five percent times 560 which is 28 pounds so how much does she have left well 560 she started with take away 210 and take away 28 just type it into the calculator and I've got £322 left. Question 4. Bert is making a mortar mix from sand and cement in the ratio 9 to 2. So 9 parts to 2 parts. There's 144 kilograms of sand, but no cement. How many bags will he need? and then 15 kilogram bags. So in the ratio nine to two, and it's sand and cement. There's 144 kilograms of sand. How much cement? So what do we times nine by to get 144? So to work that out, we can do 144 divide nine. And that says 16. So we're going to multiply by 16. So 9 times 16 makes 144. 2 times 16 is 32. So I need 32 kilograms of cement. It's in 15 kilogram bags. So if I buy, if I buy 1, I've got 15. If I buy 2, I've got 30. But I need 32, so I'm going to have to buy three bags of cement. So three bags. Question five. If x is negative seven and y equals four, calculate the value of t when t is 5x plus 10y. So it's 5 times x, so 5 bracket negative 7 
plus 10 times y, 10 bracket 4, and I can type that in the calculator. I can type 5 bracket negative 7 plus 10 bracket 4 in the calculator, and the calculator will work it out for me. I could also type 5 times negative 7 plus 10 times 4. So 5 bracket negative 7 plus 10 bracket 4, and that gives me 5. If t equals 85 and x is 7, what's y? So if t is 85 and x is 7, so changing x into 7, what is y? So I'm going to do 5 times 7 first, and that's 35. So I've got 85 equals 35 plus 10y. And I'm going to find out y, so I'm going to get y by itself. At the moment, I've got plus 35, 35 plus down to 10y. So I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides, which leaves me with 50 equals 10y. To get y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 10, which leaves me with y equals 5. Question 6. Find the highest common factor of 34 and 170. So I can do factor trees for this. So if I do 34 over here, 34 is 2 times 17. And 2 and 17 are both prime numbers, so there's nothing more I can do with that. And 170 is, I'll do 17 times 10. 17 is prime. And 10 is 2 times 5. So the highest common factor is, well, the common factors, they've both got a 2. And they've both got a 17. So they're the common prime factors, so the highest common factor is 2 times 17, which is 34. So the highest common factor is 34. 34 and 170 are both in the 34 times table. Question 7. There's a small circle with a diameter of 3, so all the way across the circle is 3. A large circle with a diameter of 4, so all the way across the large circle is 4. Work out the area of the shaded part of the shape, giving your answer to one decimal place. So I'm going to assume <laughs> the shaded part of the shape is this. So we're going to do the area of the big circle, take away the area of the small circle. And the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And a radius is half of a diameter. So for the small circle, the radius is going to be 1.5. And for the big circle, the radius is going to be 2. So big circle, the area of the big circle is pi times the radius, which is 2, half a diameter squared. And I'm going to leave that as 4 pi. So type that into the calculator. It will give you 4 pi. I'm going to leave it like that to start. And for the little circle, the area is pi times 1.5 squared. So again, type that into the calculator. That's saying 9 over 4 pi. So to work out the shaded bit, I'm going to do 4 pi 
take away 9 over 4 pi. So if you've kept your answer in the calculator, you can use the answer button. And that's saying 7 over 4 pi. And I'm going to press the S D button on the calculator. And that will change it to a decimal. I want one decimal place. So that's 5.5 .5 meters squared.